So just for reference, this is the Anal Mini PC, A-I-N-O-L. And I've managed to take it apart. What you need to do is prise off the plastic bits on the front and back, take the screws out, and then it will just slide out the back. And there it is. I'll just put my finger there for reference and you'll see how small that is. So obviously there's nothing upgradable there. There's the CPU and there is the heat spreader. It's basic, basically a bit of sticky metallic plastic. And that was stuck over the components here including the two gigs of RAM, the CPU and probably the comms yeah, probably the comms uh, or the South Bridge, whatever you call it. That, I'm not sure what that is there. That could be, hmm, difficult to tell. There are the connectors, USB 2, two of them are there. And you can see there's the power over here, micro SD slot. What is the micro HDMI slot? Sorry, mini HDMI slot there, power. And that is the micro SD slot. That's the, the power input over this side is, yeah, it's a set of buttons. So the interesting thing about this is that the Anal Mini PC reports 12.3 or 12.5, maybe 12.8 watt hour battery inside. In fact, it's a 25 watt hour. So what's reported in Windows is, well, they haven't got the multipliers right. It's uh, two times bigger than, than what is reported in Windows. So my recent tests of 1.6 watt video playback on an external monitor actually means it's 3.2 watt playback on a monitor, which gives you seven and a half uh, to eight hours uh, full HD video playback. But that's not the point of this video. I just wanted to show you the insides of the Anal Mini PC. No upgrading there, no replacements, but quite an interesting look at how big a modern Windows 8. Actually, this one's been updated to Windows 10 now. A Windows 10 any PC. Thanks for watching. My name's JP. I'll put a post up about this on umpcportal.com and uh, don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching.